All right, in today's video, we'll be covering Corvex's new augment called Wrecking Wall. Wrecking Wall is an augment that uh, affects Containment Wall. Containment Wall is a parallel ability that forces enemies to slam together, giving them damage vulnerability. At a base level, Containment Wall is a 25% damage vulnerability, but as soon as you add the Wrecking Wall augment onto it, Wrecking Wall will strip 50% of armor and shields from uh, struck enemies, as well if you hit five or more enemies, your... Uh, Pillars that are around the map will be empowered no matter where you are. So at 200 um, ability strength, you will be able to fully armor strip enemies, but you could also just armor strip them by having corrosive projection on and only 164 ability strength. So there's two ways of armor stripping with him. Overall, it's not a bad augment, but it does have its issues because containment wall in general is a ability with a little bit of problems, not being able to really stretch out um, outside of its parallel requirements because as you see when i press two here i smash all of them together minus that one because i missed because they are in a very tight ish column but if they were at all spread out and moving i would not be able to hit every single person so what i think they should do for contain wall to be a better ability is make it in a v pattern so it closes in on the enemies and as a um, demonstration if i plant a chrysalith pillar here that's what it looks like by base if i hit payment wall you see that it's now empowered, and here's a non-empowered one. Now it's empowered. So, it's not that bad. We'll head into a Steel Path Grenier mission and test out how it works with moving targets. I'll see y'all there. Alright, so I decided to go to a uh, sort of mod survival instead, since mod survival has uh, armored enemies and shielded enemies. I'm just waiting for a couple of them to crowd over there, and whack! So as you saw, all of his shield literally went away. And a good combination to do here is whenever you hit a containment wall, obviously use your Crucible Blast. I think that's literally in the like description for him as being the best option combo is hit your two and then containment wall if I had the energy. But as you see, it's shredding armor. It's causing enemies to be a bit confused because if it doesn't kill them, it causes radiation damage and it's impacting them. So they're stumbling whenever they um, concussed, I think is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> they get concussed. As you see, whenever they try to come through here, they get confused because of the radiation pillar. So I hit a two because it's a corridor that I forced and all of them are gone thanks to the Crystal Blast. Because Crystal Blast uh, will bounce across multiple enemies. It's also why these guys back here are confused as hell. There's a there's a pillar just chilling here. So it is obviously Sevagoff's release uh, week. So uh, tell me in the comments what y'all think about his uh, release. I personally haven't gotten to use him yet. He's currently crafting specifically the prime, not the actual frame. So uh, if y'all got to use him, tell me how he feels, because I didn't really like normal Sevagoth all that much, but he did feel quite all right. Most people just used him for gloom, I noticed. Having a lot of fun with this augment, because it is fun having just the ability to just hit one button and everyone's armor vanishes like that. So I'll return when there's a um, Acolyte to see if we can armor strip an Acolyte completely. So I'll see y'all then. So if y'all have been enjoying the content so far on my channel and enjoying the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell for post notifications. So, always, so you always get notified whenever I go ahead and post another video. I do appreciate it. It shows me that you'll enjoy my content. Anyway, let's get back into the video. All right. So we got a uh, Acolyte to finally spawn. Sadly, this is the one that also takes away all of my uh, ability usage. But yes, I am indeed able to fully armor strip them. Let me clear out these enemies so I can actually look at them. So yeah, as you see, their entire well, health bar got removed. Okay. They were just slowly walking towards me. Oh, Christ. Even though I've been killing a ton, I've not been paying attention to my life support at all. But as you see, you're able to fully armor strip a Acolyte with relatively no issues as long as that one doesn't spawn. Because that one completely nullifies your abilities if you get too close to them or they get too close to you. But yeah, it even works on Exhibus units who are protected. So it's a really fun augment, but obviously Containment Wall has its issues that I've said before. But I feel like there are ways that we could fix those if DE ever does do the changes. So I'm going to enjoy killing a little bit more and then i will see y'all back in my orbiter to give you all my final thoughts on this uh, augment so i'll see y'all then how does the augment really work the augment works quite well uh, i think the augment overall is a very good addition to having it added onto corvex but i still think corvex needs a couple of changes examples being there should be a way to specify how your containment wall gets sent out i like the parallel ability but i would like it if it was a v-shape that would smash together and, and close them 
That way it'd be able to pick up more people instead of being a, a more linear requiring tool. Uh, I feel like his uh, Crucible Blast is quite all right. And his Chris, uh, Karinka Pillar, I think, should be able to have a little bit more range increasement instead of it being so short on its range. To really get a lot of it, you would need to add um, more than just, just stretch. You need to like overextend some other things like that. Uh, overall, the build is not the obviously the best, but Molt Augmented, I think, is quite strong on him and quite useful. Arcane Avenger, it's my choice. Pick whatever you like. I should probably have maxed this out, but I didn't feel like forming again. But overall, it's not that bad of a build. Here are the Archon shards I use like I just showed. So tell me in the comments which y'all want to see me review next. And I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Peace out.